The cheapest webcam you can buy isn't actually a webcam. What's up guys, Andrew here at My Channel Gear Inc, where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And my channel, that's PC Tech Games and Gear. And holy crap, have I been gone for a minute. You know, I, there's just a lot of things going on in life right now. I'm gonna continue to try to make content as I can, uh, but with a bunch of things going on, like if my regular viewers notice, there's nothing on my walls. We're actually getting our house ready to sell. And so I've had very little time, um, you know, with balancing everything out to be able to make content, but I'm still here. I'm still planning on making videos moving forward. But obviously for most of you, that's not why you're here. You're here to talk about webcams. So with the recent, uh, let's say, ordeal going on in the world, because I can't actually use any real mention of it or I'll get demonetized, uh, it has been really, really hard to find webcams. It's been very apparent, whether this is for school or whether you're going to be streaming from home, that webcam prices have skyrocketed, and that's if you can even get a hold of them. The one I personally use is my C922 from Logitech, which I've seen for as much as three times its actual MSRP. So that's that being said, I decided to do a little bit of investigation to what would be a good budget webcam as an alternative. Now, technically, you can actually use your phone as a webcam, and there are many, many apps that actually support you doing so. However, after playing around with them, uh, all the free versions I didn't really like, and I think it's kind of a counterproductive uh, way to use your phone, because obviously if you're gonna be using a camera for school or you're gonna be using it for streaming, not being able to use your phone at the same time is kind of a pain. And so yes, technically that is the cheapest thing that you can do is turning your actual phone into a webcam, but I didn't particularly like that, you know, I didn't like that solution. So what I decided to do was look for another type of camera that would be cheap, but would also function as a webcam. I found sports cam. So there are a lot of knockoff action cams from GoPro. The one that I'm using is this Vermont 1080p, and it's only around $20. It doesn't matter the brand you buy, but you wanna make sure that you get a USB connection or something that can support video connection to your actual computer while you're using it. Otherwise, brand I really don't think makes a difference. As far as this camera is concerned, it's pretty easy to use. Once you get it outside of the box, the cable you're gonna be looking for is this HDMI connection. This also supplies both video and audio audio and then you need to get the actual camera out of its enclosure which I struggled with for a little bit but then finding the release latch on the front you just pull up on that front plastic and you're able to pop out the camera and use it as far as connecting this thing to the computer all you need to do is plug in the HDMI cable to the corresponding slot on the camera itself plug that into a uh, free USB port on your computer and then use some type of mounting system I of course decided to go with some uh, masking tape essentially because it doesn't you know leave any residue when I want to pull it off now in terms of the actual cra uh, camera quality it's not going to be the best it's a $20 camera you can see from this OBS recording that it's uh, obviously this isn't like going to be high res but it doesn't really need to be if you were doing a zoom call for school and if you were streaming this you know basically playing a video game the image would be much smaller for a comparative side by side here's my c922 and yeah you can just see in terms of overall quality it is not even close but again this is a very budget option especially if you're not able to find a webcam right now where at least you can do zoom calls for school or at least you have something to stream with if you can't find an alternative option now as far as audio on this thing I have to make one disclaimer. This camera does come with an audio mic, so you do not have to buy a separate uh, mic for this. Although if you wanted to, you can go check out my best you know, five uh, mics under $50 from Amazon. That video has been fairly popular. However, the audio on this is fine. It's good enough to do Zoom calls for school or even streaming. In my setup, there's something causing massive interference to where I'm getting an incredibly high-pitched whine. It isn't actually acoustics in the room. It's not picking up like my computer fans. There's something actually interfering with the audio on the mic itself or the mic is just bricked because it will pick up audio, but no matter what settings I did, whether that was suppression, denoising, de de uh, using like a dehummer on it, I couldn't get that pitch to go away. So there you have it, guys. This was a very quick video, but I really wanted to make it because there are a lot of people trying to get a hold of webcams right now, and there's not a lot of good alternatives. But now you know that if you absolutely need one, it's actually fairly cheap to pick up one of these action cameras, hook it up to your computer, and it's uh, plug, plug and play. You don't have to install anything. Should work for OBS, Zoom, whatever else you know, you're know you using for video. Um, and just so you know, it is streaming in 680p. It says 1080p on the camera that's recording. When it streams, it's 680p, so it's not even 720p. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go and leave me a big thumbs up. If not, go and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that like icon so you know when these videos drop. 
As always, I appreciate everyone who's continued to support me, especially through all the craziness in my life over the last couple of months. Thanks to people who supported my Patreon, on my Twitch, who continue to use my affiliate link. All that money gets poured back into the channel, guys, so I can do these reviews. I'm completely self-funded. But as always, I'm continuing to make these videos, whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do. And I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc.